Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting budget brand battery for you today, this time from Dyness. It is our Group 31 size format, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate battery, model AR 1.2. If you're looking for a full capacity test, tear down, and review on this battery, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. So the Dynas battery has completed charging, so now I'll remove it from the charger and I'll hook it to the capacitor rig and see what this thing's made of. I got the Dynas connected to the capacitor rig, same thing I always use. Got the energy meter zeroed out, nothing's been turned on yet. Now I'll turn on the inverter. And here goes the load. Same load, I always use that little charger right there, charging back to the 12 volt rig. So let everything stabilize out and I'll get you a final reading. All right, 36 amps, 478 watts load on the Dynas battery. So we'll let it run and see how much capacity this thing has. All right, so while this Dynas battery is fresh, I'm going to hit it with an increased load for roughly 100 watt hours to see what the BMS can handle. So I'm going to add another load now comes the additional load it's ramping up it's another charger so i'm going to hit this battery for 100 watt hours at a high current draw to see the robustness of the bms design in this battery so there we are 130 amps 265 so i'll run it to 365 or until the bms uh trips out all right coming up on the 100 watt hour mark there we go so i'm going to remove the additional load back to the original charger load it held the 130 amps for that period of time no problem at all so let it run like this the rest of the capacity test so make note if i lose an amp hour or two that would burn it off as heat during that hard pull coming up on the estimated halfway capacity mark for the dynas battery right there just rolled over 640 watt hours through the battery still at 12.84 volts about to reach the advertised capacity on the Dynas battery. So I will film it as we roll over. 1280 watt hours. So we got the rated capacity out of the Dynas. See so how much more it's got. The voltage is starting to plummet off on the Dynas battery. So it ain't got much left in it. All right, there we went. The inverter shut down. 1300 watt hours out of the Dynas battery. So about 101 and a half amp hours. So if you've never heard of Dynas before, I'll give you a little bit of history about the company. They make large business to business lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is one of their first offerings in the business to consumer category, the 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate market. And what do you get when you purchase a Dynas battery? Well, of course you get the battery, you get your user manual, and you get a set of M8 terminal bolts to use. It's a fairly basic user manual, but it gives you all the pertinent details to use your battery properly and safely. Here's a quick shot of the specifications. The manual also includes helpful wiring guides for up to four in series. So you can make a 48 volt or 51.2 volt pack with it. Shows you all your specification voltages, things like that. The battery comes with a carry strap, so you can move it about easily from place to place. And it does have a cool holographic style logo on it. So it gives you some information on the back of the battery as well. Your nominal voltages, your capacity, things like that. And shows you your know, charge and discharge. So it's a quick reference on the battery. So just pretty snazzy looking. It really is. It's got a nice, a nice graphics kit on it. So now time for the teardown. We're gonna see if this cool graphics kit reflects the internal build quality of this battery. So I'll give you one last view of it in a single piece before I tear it apart. I'm gonna check it out, see what it's made of. So give me a minute and I'll crack it open. All right, save the last little bit of epoxy. Yeah, this one was epoxy together on the cover so we can look at it at the same time together. So I've got the cover popped off now. Uh, yeah, epoxy on this one, lots of snap tabs. So the cover is on very securely on this one. Let me spin you around right here. That's a familiar looking BMS, a Sihang. I see that already. Yep, that is a Sihang BMS. Awesome. Let me reposition you and I'll look at these wires and we'll see what we got. So let's go over the wiring first on this battery, the positive lead. 
is a six gauge 200 degree jacketed cable right there hydraulically crimp connection super tight right there and then some additional sealant around the terminal bolt the pass-through bolt and then on the negative right here they're hydraulically cramped as well and we have one two three four five 12 gauge wires right there silicone jacketed 200 degree rated and this bms right here i'll go ahead and tell you that is a good bms that side hang 100 amp this is in a lot of different batteries you'll see this is a very popular choice for many oems that is a very good bms and we'll go over here and got a uh, ntc thermistor right there sensor going down there's our balance lead connection right there so they're not indicating through their advertisements dines is not indicating low temp protection but this side hang with this sensor normally this board is programmed with a low temp cutoff so we'll have to see once they get further into the battery so that's good to see so we got epoxy board right here sitting on top of the cells our battery leads from the bms go down through this opening right here everything's siliconed in place with sealant so nothing's gonna move plenty of space around everything no wires were pinched or anything like that so let me get this broken down we'll go down another layer and here's the numbers part numbers and model numbers off the side hang board right there Another thing I wanted to make note of, look at the nice solder connections for the leads. You know, that's, that's pretty nice right there. That's nice and clean. Here is the cell pack assembly out of its case. See right there, I got it out in one piece. It was glued down into the bottom right there. You see we've got tie band compression around the cells right there. And it's got metal, looks like aluminum guards right here around the corners. Uh, usually you see the full full length piece of you know, the fiber or the plastic around the corners. They just put uh, metal pieces right there underneath the tie band. The cells look to be in pretty good condition. I'll give you the QR code in just a second. So you can see right there how it's built. There's a shot of the laser welds across the cell connector and bus bars right there. And there's our balance leads. They got machine screws and they put additional sealant on top of that. Decent wire management through there. They use tape to hold down the balance leads with some additional sealant on top of there. So just showing you everything that I'm seeing. But the terminals connections right here are super tight. It seems to be pretty decent. We got expansion joints right here in between everything. So not too bad. Just giving you showing you everything. And yeah, pretty pretty uniform pack. No, you know, no bulging, no anything like that going on. And if you follow follow along over here, let's go from right here. Here's our NTC thermistor right there. It comes along underneath here and goes right here. So I want to know if that's glued down or if it's just sitting there. And I bet it's just yep, it's just sitting there. So the sensor is not attached, you know, with sealant, you know, direct contact with the cell that's sitting up underneath that bus bar hump right there. So you know. Uh, normally you see them glued down like in the center of the cell pack so it gets a good temperature reading right here in the center of the cells uh, you know as to why they put it under there I don't know uh, I'm just showing you everything I'm seeing so I went ahead while I'm on this side of the battery I went in and cut this sealant loose they had the glue right there the sealant up against the top so it would have stayed underneath there but uh, just showing you this right here our little got some tape right here the sealant was on top of the tape so that, you know, that kind of pulled loose a little, a little bit easy, but you know, nothing, you know, it wouldn't have come loose unless she's in here messing with it like I am. And there is a shot of one of the QR codes on the cells right there. So I will look into that and put it through a scanner and see if we can come up with any information about these cells. And then here's another one on one of the other cells. So just, just giving you some to, to reference if you like to look them up, but I'm going to look them up for you. So these cells do have a valid QR code that comes up in the database. They are made by Great Power. I've seen some other batteries with these cells and they seem to do well. So, you know, giving you all the information I can find. Now it's going to be kind of hard to see, but if you look right down there towards the center of the BMS, if you're looking down, down that direction in between the heat sink and the actual board, You'll see those two wire leads down there. That is a high temp thermal switch on the BMS, which all the side hangs have that. So just let you know that's there as well. All right, I'm just check the cells. I've been doing this on all these battery tests since that one battery a while back that was all out of whack. So this one's been partially recharged from the capacity test. So 
get the total pack voltage for you right here 13.19 and just want to check and see you know how the cells are looking after partial charge 3.296 3.296, 3.296, wow. Yeah, that's nice to see. All right, so I've got the power supply connected to the battery. Gonna check for high and low temp. So I'm gonna apply heat to the NTC sensor. And if we have a functioning high temp cutoff, you'll see the current right here on the power supply drop to zero. So let me apply some heat. All right, 30 seconds, according to the camera viewfinder. So cool it back down, should go back to charging. All right, back to charging. We do have functioning high temp protection at the cell level. I'm gonna check for low temp protection on this Dynas battery. Remember, they're not claiming low temp protection. So if we have low temp protection, that'll be a bonus. So I will put the sensor in the ice pack and same principle applies. If we got low temp protection, you'll see this current drop to zero. Awesome, we have low temp charge protection on the Dyn-S. That's a bonus. It was not advertised as such, but it's there. Let me warm it back up. Awesome, functioning low temp protection, great. So I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the Dyn-S Group 31 size format battery model AR 1.2. The battery is exactly as claimed, plus, plus some. We've got the little bonus of the low temp charge protection that's not indicated by the manufacturer. It's always nice to you know, see this low temp charge protection there, even though they're not claiming that. So that's a bonus. I like that. As far as the build quality, this is not a bad battery. We have nice sized wire on this battery, a very good BMS that is used in many, many, many batteries. Uh, pretty good construction. The only thing I would like to see different on this battery uh, would be the full size, you know, corner compression right here with the plastic, plastic guards like you've seen in some of the other videos. You know, seeing just a little metal strip here, you know, I'm worried if it's moved around a lot or, you know, like a mobile application or something, you know, that could rub through there over time. I prefer the full length guard down through here. And at time of filming, this Dynas battery is only $149.99. So, you know, is that a good deal to you? So if you're interested in looking more into this battery, I'll put a convenient link in the description so you can look into it further. So what do you think about the Dynas battery? Let me know in the comment section, you know, what you think about this. Do you have questions about this battery that I did not cover? Anything I did not cover you have questions about, please put it in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer to the best of my abilities. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. And special thanks to Dynas battery for providing the sample for today's video so I could show everybody how your battery's made. Thank you.